Peace be unto you. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And you shall be glad in this day, for you are alive and you're in the land of the living. In Jesus' name. So I thank you for tuning in and being with me. There is a word. Jesus is here living today, yesterday, today, and forevermore. He never changed. You have to listen for the voice of God. And as I was reflecting on the centurion, when he called for Jesus to pray for his servant, and Jesus was coming, and he said, Lord, I am not worthy for you to be underneath my roof, but just send the word. The word of the living God. Just send the word and I know that my servant will be healed. What kind of faith? I don't have to come. He don't have to come and lay hands. You don't have to be come underneath my roof. I'm not worthy of you to come underneath my roof. But just say the word and I know my servant, Matthew 8 and 8, will be healed. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God. The word was God. So if you send the word of healing, if you send the word of restoration, restoring your marriage, restoring your finances, there's word there for you to run after. There's a word. Everything you need in this life is in the word of the living God. God has everything that we need for us to sustain ourselves in this world until he take us out of this world in the rapture. We don't need anything from man. Man made this, man made that, man made confusion. We need the word of the almighty God. In Isaiah 55 verse 11, so shall my word that proceed from my mouth it will not return unto me empty void. It shall accomplish, which I send it to accomplish. Oh, you have suicidal tendency? You think it's your suicidal? I send the word of deliverance for your suicidal thought that it shall be gone in the mighty name of Jesus. Depression, gone. Anxiety, gone. Hatred, gone. Bitterness, angry, gone in the mighty name of Jesus. I send the word and it shall not come back to me void. God's word is everlasting. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but the words will never pass away. My God, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. The word is power. Ha, come on, Holy Spirit, power in the name of Jesus. Proverbs 4, 20 and 22. My son, pay attention. Pay attention. To the words, listen closely to my sayings. Don't lose sight of them. Keep them within your hearts, for they are life to those who find them, and health to one to the one's whole body. To one's whole body. So it's spiritual food to the spirit and the body. There's nothing that the word will not accomplish if you only believe. Matthew 4 and verses 4 said, He answers, It is written, Man must not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded from the mouth of God. Everything you need is in that word. Just send the word. Send the word to the people. Send the word. The word will set men free. The spirit of God would move on them with the power of the word of God. Just send the word. So the word, the word, the Bible, the word, it's spiritual. They, when you read the word, you got to read it like spiritual. You can't just read it like a regular book. It's spiritual, it got power, it got the anointing of the living God upon it. And to practice it every day. 
You have to say thank you. Do you ever get up in the morning and say thank you, Jesus? Where I pray over my food, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this food that I, I'm eating. Bless it and sanctify it in my name of Jesus. I thank you, God. Little things to acknowledge that God is with us. You just don't get up and just go and say, thank you, Jesus. When we lift our hand and surrender, we say, thank you. When you get your deliverance, you're supposed to say, thank you, Jesus. When God does say, thank you, Jesus. Acknowledge God. That's what's going on. Nobody's acknowledging God. Just acknowledging men and this and that, but except for God. And you have to acknowledge the living God. Especially if you say that you are saved and you're a Christian, you have to acknowledge God. Thank you, Jesus. Growing up, Thanksgiving and Christmas, we used to go around the table and say, what are you thankful for? What are you thankful for? Say so. Everybody got to say something that they're thankful for. That way you're grateful. You come up being a grateful person, not a selfish person. Huh? Somebody? Uh, we got too many selfish person in the world now. Too many selfish people running around. Me, me, and my, and I alone. Uh, not thinking about nothing about Jesus. Uh, but see, you're the fool. I'd rather be a fool for Jesus than a fool for a man or woman because they're going to fool you and dump you and leave you alone. But God, for God I live and for God I die. Uh, somebody, Jesus is the answer. I'd rather be a fool for Jesus any day, seven days a week, 24 hours. He's my rock, he's my she, he's my strong tower, and him I will trust. Oh Lord, as I am going forward, if anybody who listened to this video, I just feel that not everybody who comes across this video might be filled or saved. So I want them to repeat after me if you believe. That our Father, Father God in heaven, our Heavenly Father sent His Son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for your sin. Just say, I believe that Jesus died for my sin on the cross. I repent of my sin. Forgive me for my sin. I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I accept him. I believe that he died for me and I accept him as my Lord. As and now I ask him to come into my life, my heart, my mind, my soul, my soul. Now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, and the Holy Spirit may move upon you and refresh you and give you strength. In Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord. Because I love souls. My heart is to win the souls for Jesus Christ. And the backslider is to come back into the kingdom of the living God. Because the world has nothing to offer than death. It's death. But God has a life and love, joy, and peace. So, there is everything in the word of God. There's joy, there's love, there's peace. You want to get rid of bitterness? You speak the word. I rebuke bitterness. I rebuke anger, because that's not of God. Anything that comes up, come up against God is not of God. To those spirit, I rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus. I send healing and deliverance and restoration of the mind and the body and your finances in Jesus' name. And each day when you get up, you give God some thanks. Give him some praise. Give him some glory. Just even if you say thank you at first, pray over your food. Thank you, Jesus, for waking me up. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. The Spirit gives life. The flesh counts for nothing. The word I have spoken to you are full of the Spirit and life. God gave you life. Don't refuse it. Take it and say, thank you, Jesus. I thank you. And I give you the praise and I give you glory. There's nothing that God won't do for you. He came down and he died and laid it all to the cross. He came to see about you because you was in, we was in need. My God. We was a wretched sinner in sin. 
and God deliver us. So why do you think we want to go back there? No, we want to hold on to what God did on the cross and maintain it and grow in Jesus. Grow in Jesus. Each day we grow, we read the Bible. When you are saved, you don't stop there. You start reading the Bible. You hang around people and watch things that it can encourage you and that you grow in Jesus Christ. You find a church to go to. And you grow in Jesus each day. You're supposed to be growing and walking with Jesus along life's narrow way. All right. Yes. We grow in Jesus. It's not a one-day thing. We grow. We seek Jesus. We want to be near to Jesus. We want to grow in Jesus. We got to grow in him. He's already... We need to grow in Jesus. Oh. Huh? Praise God. Praise God. I love you and my heart is for the soul of the people. I am going for the souls. I am not looking on the outside, not left or right. I'm going for the souls. We need the souls for the kingdom of God. And I thank you, O oh Lord, for what you're doing. Move mightily upon your people and the people that you're bringing into your kingdom, God. May they receive the, may they receive the mighty word. Right now, Jesus, and accept you as your Lord and Savior. And I, for that, I give you the praise and I give you the glory. Peace be unto you. For Minister and Evangelist Sonia Griffiths, I love you. Keep the peace in Jesus' name.